Stop giving everything away for free. Oh my gosh, it's killing me. Listen to these three ways of why you need to stop doing all of your art and your paint parties for free. All right, stay tuned. Okay guys, I get messages all the time. They talk about what do I need to charge for paint parties? How can I get 35, 40, $45 for paint parties when no one's going to pay for my stuff? So number one, you have got to stop thinking just because you're having fun doing this. Yes, I love painting with all of my heart. It's my passion, it's everything. It's how I share God's love is through art. But I cannot do things for free anymore. I used to. So don't feel too bad if you're that person right now. I used to be the person a friend would ask for me to do a painting, a mural, whatever the case may be. And I would, you know, work my full-time job, stay up all the way into the night, and then realize that I was doing all of this stuff for free. And I would go to give them the thing they wanted me to do, and they had forgotten about it. And they would go, oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Thank you so much. And it hit me. I took time away from my family. I stayed up until midnight. I still had to go to work the next day. And it didn't even matter enough to them that they had forgotten that they asked me for it. Okay? So number one, you cannot do stuff for free just because it's fun. Okay? Remember that. We don't go to our massage therapist or our yoga instructor, if you go do yoga, which I don't, but we don't go there and expect them to do a free session, okay? And that leads me to number two. If you're that person that is expecting every single thing for free, how can you expect other people to pay you for a service, okay? You know who you are. You know if you're that person. You're that person that tries to get every single thing for free. Now, I'm all about a bargain shopping. I'm all about trying to find things out there that are discounted and find better su supplies and prices. I mean, my whole thing is, you know, a party, a profit every party, right? However, if you are the person who doesn't want to pay for anything, you think that you're, you don't value somebody's time, you don't value service, then you can't expect to go out there and say, I want $35 for this painting party and how dare you not want to pay that, okay? What goes around comes around. So think about yourself for a minute. Think about how do you portray yourself when you go to a restaurant and eat? Are you happy to tip them because they came back and checked on you five times during that thing and made sure you had every, everything? Or are you just barely putting some money down because you just feel like you need to, right? What person are you? And oh my gosh, when I set up my events, I want them to be perfect. I want people to come in and relax and not have to worry about things. But because I do all that prep work and set up and clean up and all of those things, I also expect to be paid well for that because I have put in the time. I make sure everything is ready for them. That's how you have to think about this. You are providing a service, okay? So are you the person, that's number two, are you the person that expects everything for free and then you think nobody can pay you for stuff? That is all in your head, okay? Start changing your behavior and start thinking about yourself differently. All right, and number three, another re reason why you should start charging for your paint parties. If you don't value what you're offering, nobody else will. Okay, I have so many emails and messages all the time. And they're like, you know, I did a paint party for $15, but nobody signed up. I'm not going to go sign up for a paint party at $15. Like, are they even doing anything? Is it just a little craft? And am I going to show up and there's going to be like, you know, recycled trash I have to use? Like, I don't know what you're offering at $15, right? You might be thinking it's going to be a great deal. Why should they not be coming? But another person is thinking, like, I don't really want to go to that. I mean, $15, what, are the, what's, what is it even going to be, right? You have to think about that stuff. And um, I always like to say, you know, are you trying to attract? I know we all want to do good. And I know some of you out there are, you know, I get these messages. I just read an email. That's why I'm putting this video on right now because it got me fired up. I just read an email about a lady who is running around like crazy doing paint parties for free. But guess what? 
She is resentful. She is upset because nobody wants to pay for her paint parties. You know why? Because she's running around doing them for free. And then the next week she's trying to ask for money for them. And then she's frustrated because she wants to help people. Guys, here's how you help people. Charge the right price for your paint parties. Make a crap load of money and then donate that if that's what your heart desires. Okay, that's how you can help people. When you make more money, then you're able to make a bigger impact. It frustrates me so much and it's because I've been there, guys. I have been that person, so I understand where you're coming from. But you feel like you, you can only help if you're giving stuff away for free. That is not true. Provide a really great experience for the people who have the money who want to come and do this. You know, I raised my prices recently and I charged $45 for paint parties. I didn't always. I started out at $25, but I always had a profit every party. Now, when I am now at $40 and $45, you know, these are the people that can afford it. They want a ladies' night out. They are excited about this, okay? I make a really great event for these people. But if I was to sit there and do, you know, a $15 little craft night and put hardly any energy into it, and then I'm frustrated because nobody signs up because who wants to sign up for something that you don't even value? You don't even value it. How are they going to value it? So make sure you are setting the right prices, you are offering something wonderful, and you're getting paid for it. That way, if you wanna go donate or you wanna go help you know, people who can't afford to paint, you could take a percentage of that and go do that if that's what you want, okay? But if you can't help yourself, you can't help anybody else. And running around doing everything for free is just telling people that you are not valuing what you offer. It comes across, I promise. Even if you're not saying it, it comes across. So number one, think about that. Think about why are you not charging? Don't be the person that's running around being resentful for people not wanting to pay you when you don't even value other people's services, okay? So are you valuing other people's services, number one? If not, practice that. Next time you go out to eat, Tip more than you normally would, okay? Think about them. Think about their family. You went out to eat, tip a little better, right? Guys, if you're not valuing yourself, they will not value you. So I hope this was helpful. Make sure you're charging the right price for your paint parties. If you're not sure, check out my other videos on YouTube, and I have a thing where it shows what to charge for a paint party. And then when you charge the right price and you make money from that, a profit every party, then go set aside an amount and then spend once a month doing some kind of project that you can do and give it away for free. But when you're doing it all for free, why would you expect somebody to start paying you then? All right, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.